Hey, what's up, guys? Then my year for simple snippets. Today we're gonna learn and understand the canonical form of Boolean expressions. That is the min term and max term. Well, it is associated with sum of product and product of sum. So if you have missed those videos, we've discussed them in the previous two videos of this playlist. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Okay, so what are these canonical forms of Boolean expressions? Well, there are two forms. That is the min terms and max terms. Now, min terms are essentially SOPs, and max terms are product of sums that is POS. Any Boolean function can be expressed as a sum of products that is min terms or product of sums that is max terms. Well, as you can see in the table, we have three different input variables x, y and z and their corresponding values of 0 and 1. So since there are three variables, we know the number of input variations is 2 raised to 3 which is equal to 8. So I have 8 rows with different values of input of x, y and z. Now the sum of product or the min terms that is this part is associated with the number 1. So I have written the equivalent values in the first row as x bar, y bar and z bar. So why did I write them like that? Since the initial values of x, y and z for this column are 0, we need to be converting them to 1 so that the product ultimately results in 1. Now when we take an AND operation between x, y and z, the only one case where the value is 1 is when all these variables are 1. So since all these variables are 0, 0, 0, we take their complements which ultimately gives us value 1. Similarly, product of sum or max terms are associated with the value 0. So that is the reason why I simply wrote x, y and z. Since all their values are already 0, their sum will, e will be equal to 0. Now min terms are denoted by small m and their position. That is this is value at position 0. Or you can consider this at the 0th row. So that is the reason why we say there is m0. And the associated x, y, z variables with their values corresponding to 0, 0, 0. Similarly, max terms are denoted by capital M with their corresponding value that is 0 in this case since at the 0th position we have all the x, y, z values as 0. Okay, so how do you express these Boolean expressions in these min terms and max term form? So let's take an example. Okay, so as you can see I have written a question wherein they have given express function which is equal to a Boolean function and the value is a or a b c in min terms or SOP form. Now in the previous tutorial where we understood the concept of sum of products, we saw in order to apply Boolean functions or apply the further processing, we need to first convert this equation into a proper standard form. So we need to convert this sum of product form into a standard sum of product form first. That is, we need to have b and c component in this term. So in order to do that, we need to associate it with the boolean laws. So how do we go about the solution? Now we know this term is complete. So we don't need to do any processing on this. But I write this part separately over here and multiply it or take a logical AND operation with 1. Now why did I did that? In the next step, I write A and B or B complement. Now we know B or B complement is equal to 1. Now this is due to the complement law which we studied in our previous tutorials wherein we discussed the laws of boolean algebra so if you have missed them you can check them as well. So this will give us the value a and b or a and b complement. Now we still need to introduce c in both these terms. So I do that. I will write the answer over here. Ok so we expanded this single variable term into this entire expression. Now we just need to substitute it at this place. So the final answer would be the function would be this entire value plus a b c. Now notice that we have a b c two times so we can ignore this part. Okay so we've got our answer and the answer is a b c or a b c complement or a b complement c or a b complement c complement. Okay now we need to represent this in a sum of product or min terms form. So consider these values in the table as a b and c and see where a b c exist. So if we compare in the min terms since we are looking for SOP we need to see a b c would be this case. So it corresponds to m7. So I write m7 over here or now I need to find a b c complement. So this would be the la second last case which is m6. So I write it over here. Now I need to find out a b complement c which is fifth case this one. So I write that 
m5 and for the last one it would be m4 so this is how i represent a boolean function in its canonical form of min terms this can be also written as f is equal to just these values which would give us summation of 7 comma 6 comma 5 comma 4 now the reason why I wrote su summation sign is because it is sum of products. So let's see how to convert these boolean expressions into the form of max terms that is product of sum. Okay, so as you can see I have written the question wherein we need to express this boolean function or boolean expression in max term form that is the POS form. So in order to do that we first need to convert this into a standard POS format wherein we need to introduce an extra variable z. So how do we do that? Since we know this term is complete that is it has all the variables x, y and z. We just need to operate on this term. So I will write the term separately that is x or y. Now the next step I do is I write x or y or 0 since anything odd with 0 is equal to that thing. So that means a or 0 will be equal to a. Now this is due to the identity law which we saw in the laws of Boolean algebra. So if you have missed it you can check it out as well. Now I can represent that 0 with z or z complement since z and z complement is equal to 0. Now this is the complement law. Now applying distributive law we get x or y or z and x or y or z complement. So I expanded this term and introduced the variable z to get the standard POS format. So the final answer can be written as follows f is equal to x or y or z and x or y or z complement and x or y complement or z complement. Now to represent it with these denotions or designations I just need to find out where these values belong. So I can see here I have written x y z so I can represent this with m0. Now I need to compare this with this table and I can see that it is represented as m1 this part. For this term I have m3 so I write it as follows. So yes this is the canonical form of max term. So it can again be simplified and written as f is equal to multiplication that is product of sum this is the symbol wherein we denote the product of sum or max terms 0 comma 1 comma 3. So this is how you convert a typical boolean expression to canonical forms that is the min terms or max terms. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the concept of canonical forms and min term and max terms since we'll be needing them in further tutorials as well. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any doubts or queries you can always put them in the comment section below. Also do share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when you upload the next video. Peace.